Blessings to you, everybody. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here, live from Chicago. We're going to go into the prophetic word of the month here. My apologies on the tardiness. A lot of technical demons warfare. So I had to go vertical instead of horizontal today. But there is a word that God has for you. We have a word to release over you for this month of June. I want everybody to declare June is the month of double boom. This is a month of double boom over your life. So expect a greater harvest, a greater glory. Expect God to do something supernatural in your life. I have a very important word to share, to release over you. So let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Praise God. Tag your friends, your haters, your enemies. I got a word to release over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Who's excited for this month of June? Amen. It's going to be a powerful month. Glory. Hallelujah. Life-changing month. And I believe in this month of June, it is going to be a month of double boom. Amen. I want you to share this on your wall. I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Let me know where you are watching from so that I can give you some shout outs in the next minute or so. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me know where you are watching from, people of God. Feels like it's been ages since I've done a Facebook Live. Been very busy the last few weeks. I think everybody's been busy because it's been preparation season. It's been preparation time as God is causing the rivers and the waters to rise up. And even as I declared in the month of May, that May was the countdown to Pentecost. May is the countdown month, the Pentecost glory. And now let me tell you, Pentecost is upon us. The countdown is nearly done and finished. And Pentecost is upon us. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you are watching from. As I want to declare over you the prophetic word of the month. That this is the month of the June of the double boom. God is so good. And once again, please excuse the tardiness and excuse that we are not doing horizontal today. But because of traveling and other issues, here we are doing vertical, releasing this powerful word over your life. Can I get amen? Let me know where you are watching from. Let me give some shout outs here. Leo Dean from South Africa. Thank you, Katrina, for tagging your friend. Cassandra Jacobo from Lancaster. Jay Carlos from DOJ in LA. Jay Carlos, have you ever been to my church or been to our conferences? <laughs> Amy Peterson from South Africa. God bless you. Our friends from South Africa. EVG Moon Massey. Kingdom blessings from Luxembourg in the house. Thank you, Lord. Shadabrata. Amen, Los Angeles. Need breakthrough, Leo Dean. Child of the Most High, speak, Lord. Come on, let's get the viewerships up, people of God. Because the man of God, the prophet, has a word to release over you. Has a word to share unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sarah Herricks is back here in OC. Amen. Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. And I want you to pray with me. Because I believe that there's been a warfare. I'm here in Chicago. Let me tell you, I love Chicago. But there's some spiritual things in this realm, in this city. That I do not like. And whenever I am here in Chicago. There's some technical demons. They're really trying to frustrate me. And frustrate the plans of God. But the Bible says that God will frustrate the plans of the enemy. Can I get an amen? Blessings to you, prophet, apostle Veronica Moore. It was great to have you, to meet you, even in Hawaii. Jesus. Jesus. 
Shatara Barakata. <clears throat> we are here in Chicago. And starting tomorrow, June 1st to June 3rd, we're doing tent revivals. So we need your prayers. I need your prayers. Starting tomorrow, I myself, and I know many others in our ministry, part of the Route 66 revival, we are conducting 21 days of prayer and fasting and consecration, <laughs> believing for a second push, a greater push in the second half of 2022. Amen. So I want you to pray. Join us in this fasting, 21 days of fasting and prayer, consecration in the second half of 2022. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting, sensing a greater glory in the second half of 2022. So I believe God is speaking to us, leading us to personally and corporately begin to dial down, to begin to hunker down, bunker down into his presence, into his face, so that we will break through to new realms and new glories in the second half of 2022. I want to prophesy over you that the second half of 2022 is going to be far greater than anything you've seen, experienced in the first half of this year. Amen. The second half of this year is going to cause your enemies to tremble and is going to cause your haters to fear. It's going to cause every person to become jealous of the fear and the saving knowledge of the Lord. They're going to be jealous of you. <laughs> it's going to cause demons and haters to manifest. But it's also going to release great blessings all around you. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you, the second half of this year, it's going to cause your haters to tremble. My goodness. Let me know where you are watching from. Because in a minute now, I'm going to go into the prophetic word of the month of June. Can I get an amen? I believe this month of June is a month of double boom. Double boom. This is the same month where Moshe Moses went up Mount Sinai and received the Torah, the word of God. The Torah, the word of God, literally the word of God stands for harvest. The word of God is the bread of life. The word of God is manna. And the word of God, the written word is manna, is the bread, is the bread of life, which is Jesus. The word of God is the bread of God, is substance, is sustenance, provision. It is the infilling. It is the substance of life. So in the season of June, in the Hebrew month, it is Sivan. Everybody say Sivan, S-I-V-A-N. And of course, I like to joke. And I like to say it's the month of Savan's chicken, right? Finger licking good. But Savan in this month is the month of Shavuot. And of course, Shavuot is the month of Pentecost. And Shavuot is the time where Moses went up Mount Sinai. Let me ask you, have you been climbing? Has there been a warfare? Has there been backlash? Has there been opposition? There's been difficulty. The enemy wants to keep you down. The law of gravity wants to keep you down. But who here knows that we are moving and operating from a greater law. It's called the law of glory. The law of gravity tries to keep you down when the law of glory is causing you to arise and shine for his glory arises upon you. So in this month of Sivan, of June, this is the month where Moses went up to Mount Sinai and the Torah was released. The word of God was released. The glory was shining upon his face. Amen. Years later, 3,000 plus years later, in the upper room, the disciples are gathering and praying in the upper room. And all of a sudden, after 10 days of prayer, boom, the Pentecost boom. Everyone say boom. The Pentecost boom filled the upper room. And as the Pentecost boom filled the upper room. They were filled with tongues of fire. The baptism of the Father, the promise of the Father, the baptism of the Holy Ghost came upon the church. And the church was birthed. Some would say birthing. This is a birthing season. I want to declare over you this month of June. It is a birthing month. It is a month 
where new things are being birthed out of you. It is the same month where the church was birthed. But in this month of June of Sivan, which is the month of Shavuot and Pentecost, this is the month where God's about to birth a new thing out of you. The word of God says, behold, I am doing a new thing. The old has passed and the new has come. Do you not perceive it? New levels, new breakthroughs, new glories, new birthings, new dreams, new visions, new ideas. Can I get a hallelujah? So in this month of June, which is the month of Sivan, which is the month of Shavuot and Pentecost. There is a double boom. Some would say double boom. This is the verse I want to connotate for this prophetic word of the month. This is the key verse. Here the word of God says, Leviticus 23, verse 17. Hallelujah. Leviticus 23, 17. You shall bring in from your dwelling places two loaves of bread. Some would say two loaves. Oh, I feel the double. Two loaves of bread for a wave offering made of two tenths of an ephah so that they shall be a fine flour baked with leaven as first fruits unto the Lord. The Bible says two loaves of bread. Who's ready for double loaves? Who's ready for double harvest? Who's ready for double glory, double honor? The Bible says I will give you double honor for all the shame. So here in this Pentecost Shavuot season, they gather two loaves of bread and they wave it in the air as a wave offering unto God. This stands for double harvest. This stands for double honor. This stands for double boom. I declare over you, June is the month of the double boom. June is the month of double birthing. Someone say double, 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 double everything in the mighty name of Jesus. June is the month of the double boom, of the double harvest, of the double breakthrough, of the double glory, double birthing. My goodness, I prophesy you're about to birth twins. You're about to birth the double anointing in your life. You see, this month of June of Shavuot, Sivan, it's the month where Moses went up and gained the Torah, the word of the Lord, the written word. But it's the same month where the church was birthed. Have you been waiting? Have you been declaring? Have you been pressing in? Remember, even as Moses climbed and ascended up Mount Sinai, it's the pressing, the testing of ascension. As Jesus carried the cross and he ascended onto uh, Calvary, Every step, there was pressing, crushing, and suffering. As the disciples were in the upper room, for 10 days, they're going to the pressing, the crushing. And all of a sudden, it went from 500 people to 120. Jesus. Let me tell you, God is separating many things in the spirit. God is separating the sheep and the goats, the wheat and the chaff, the fake and the real the phony and the for real. God is separating in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because he's about to release the double. Let me tell you, you've been pregnant, you've been impregnated for so long, but in this month of June, there will be a double boom. There will be a double birthing, a double glory, a double honor, a double harvest. Someone say hallelujah. In this month of June, in this month of Sivan, this is also the first fruits season. Did you know that every biblical appointed time is a time of feasting? And I love Pentecost because from Passover to Pentecost, literally it's 49 days plus one. That's why it's called Pentecost. Pentecost is the Greek word for Shavuot. And Pentecost means 50. Pentecost means 50. 50, of course, is Jubilee. So this is really a Jubilee season. And let me tell you, God is canceling debts. God is canceling debts. God is causing everything that you were enslaved, stuck in bondage, stuck in financial slavery. God is breaking those things off right now. And there's a new glory. There's a new release. That's why for myself and our ministry, we know God is calling us higher. Amen. God is causing us to go higher than ever before. 
So therefore, we're doing 21 days of fasting corporately, personally, starting tomorrow, starting June 1st. So I invite you to join me. I invite you to join us. Because I believe God has instructed me in this ministry to fast 21 days in January and 21 days in June for the second half of 2022. I believe right now that God is releasing a greater glory. God is releasing double harvest. God is releasing a jubilee anointing of Pentecost, cancellation of debts, cancellation of entanglements to slavery, to bondage, the things you were yoked to, things you were stuck in, false ties, soul ties, false covenants, false alignments. I believe God is bringing you into new alignments in Jesus' name. So I want to give you three prophetic points. As we bring this to a close, three prophetic points. I declare over you, June is the month of the double boom. Some would say double boom. In this month, there's going to be number one. There's going to be blessings. Some would say blessings. Who here knows that Pentecost was about the promise of the Father. It was about the promise of the Father. Whenever God releases promises, there are blessings from above, gifts from above. Are you ready to receive gifts from above? The Bible says that every good and perfect gift is from above. God has given you blessings from above in this season. Remember Shavuot, Pentecost is a barley, wheat harvest season. Who's ready for double harvest? Who's ready for double glory? My goodness. Number two, the second prophetic point is birthings. <laughs> birth things who's ready to birth who's ready to release this is a month where the clouds are going to, to release dew rain and harvest this is the month where there's going to be birth things held up blessings are going to tip over and overflow this is the month where the babies are going to be birthed ministries are going to be birthed I declare a summer of love, even for our ministry, even as I'm here in Chicago, we're starting the Route 66 revival. This whole month we're doing tent revivals in America along Route 66, 13 cities, seven states. There's new things God is birthing in the spirit realm. <laughs> God is birthing new businesses, new financial anointings. New breakthroughs God is birthing out of your life in the name of Jesus. And the third prophetic point is baptisms. Someone say baptisms. God is about to baptize the church with so much power, glory, and revelation. God is about to baptize the church with so much power. Jesus. Let me tell you, many times there's so much glory that a lot of the Wi-Fi broadcasts, things just go off. They don't work in the glory. <laughs> These man-made, human, manufactured things in factories and labs, they cannot last in the glory of God. So there's a glory that's being released and God is baptizing and immersing us fully in the glory. Not ankle deep, knee deep, waist deep, but full immersion, full baptism. Are you ready for Dunkin' Donuts? Are you ready to be fully immersed, baptized in the Holy Ghost? God's about to baptize your family. God's about to fully baptize you in the oil of God, the blessings of God, the favor of God, the glory of God. You're about to be baptized fully in the power of Jesus Christ. This is the month of the double boom, double for your trouble. Who am I talking to right now? If you receive this today, I want you to give me some hearts and likes and I want you to comment, amen. Because I prophesy this month of June is the month of the double boom, double harvest, double glory, double blessing, double birthing, double glory, double breakthrough, double baptism, double for your trouble. In this month of Sivan, in this month, 
of Pentecost. This month of Shavuot. God is going to bless you and baptize you with the fire of God from above. Somebody say hallelujah. I want everybody to lift up your hands wherever you're watching from. Lord, I thank you for the blessings that are being released, for the fire of God, that in this month of June, I declare the double boom. In this month of June, I declare double blessings, double breakthrough, double baptism, double birthings over their lives, oh God. I thank you that every held up blessing is being removed. Every held up, delayed blessing is being removed from their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for miracle angels. I released harvest angels to their lives right now. I release angels over your people, over your children right now. Come on, if you receive this, say amen. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Lord, I release angels, harvest angels. Let me, I see right now harvest angels going across America. I see harvesting angels that are going to gather. You know, Pentecost is an in-gathering feast, is an in-gathering for the harvest, an in-gathering, harvesting in feast. God is releasing angels to gather in souls, souls, souls. Prodigals are returning. Souls are returning. The lost things are returning. The lost, the missing things are returning. Who am I talking to right now? Lost opportunities, lost friendships. Jesus, lost opportunities are returning now in the name of Jesus. You thought you lost your joy, you lost your health, you lost your blessing, you lost your miracle. In this month of June, Jubilee, June of Jubilee, oh Shabbat, God is releasing angels to gather and to bring it forth, to bring it together again in the name of Jesus. I declare a June of Jubilee and a June of double boom. A June of double harvest. My goodness. Lift up your hands wherever you're watching from. Lord, I thank you for the power of God. It's coming upon your people. I declare right now the waiting is over. The warfare is finished. And the trial season has come to an end. You have graduated and you have passed the test. You have passed your class and you're going up in the glory. You're going up to the upper room. Someone say, I'm going up into the upper room. My goodness. Shit, that it's not a coincidence. It's called the upper room. Do you know why? Because Moses also went up to the top of Mount Sinai. As Moses went up to the top of Mount Sinai, the disciples also went up into the upper room. You have to go to a high place. You have to arise. You have to be above. You have to be, I feel the Holy Ghost. Some of you, God is causing you to come higher. You're not getting blessed. You're not experiencing the glory because you're still stuck on the bottom. You have to arise. You have to go up to the higher place. And God is causing you to go up above your circumstances, above your feelings, above your emotions, your stresses, your frustrations, above the warfare, above the second heavens. God is bringing you up above the second heavens and into the third heavens, the throne room of God in this month. My goodness, did you know that Shavuot Pentecost, it is a month of full dominion. June, Sivan, this month, it's a month of full dominion. How so, Pastor Ben? Because in this month, there's a new government that's being birthed. 120 was in the upper room. My goodness. 120 would stand for 12 times 10. 12 stands for government kingdom. So there's a new government that was birthed in this month. The government of the ecclesia, of the church of Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? And of course, Apostle Peter stood up and he began to preach with fire and 3,000 plus people came to the faith of Jesus Christ. I'm believing in this month of June, we are going to see 10,000 souls saved in this month of June during a Route 66 revival. If you believe with me, say amen. It's time for souls to be saved. But I declare these three blessings, these three prophetic points over you in this month of June. Number one, expect blessings. Number two, expect birthings. And number three, 
expect baptisms. June is the month of the double boom. Boom in the upper room. God is causing you to arise and to ascend, to come up higher, to be in the upper room with a new apostolic order from the throne room, the third heavens of God, the top of Mount Sinai, within Mount Zion. And angels have been released. I release the blessings of God over this month of June. Jesus, you'll be dripping with honey, dripping with oil, dripping with favor. You'll be fully immersed and baptized in the glory of God. Jesus, in this month of June, God is going to suddenly release winds of change, tongues of fire, suddenly shift you from waiting to walking in it shift you from praying Jesus from pay, praying to celebrating in this month of June I want you to lift up your hands Lord I thank you for every single person that is watching now and on the replay as they connect with this word as they connect with the man of God that is releasing this word today Lord I ask you that you would release double boom, double honor, double glory, double harvest, double breakthrough in their lives like never before. That there will be evidence and there will be signs and wonders that follow according to this word. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is finished. It is said. And it is well. It is so. According to your word. It is so. Give the Lord a mighty clap. Hallelujah, people of God. In this month of June, expect a double boom. A double harvest. A new government. A new glory. Jesus. If you receive this word today, I want you to say amen. If you receive this word today, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. Amen. Jesus. And once again, I want to ask you, keep me, our team in prayers. This is such a big month. I'm bracing myself for this 21 day Daniel fast starts tomorrow. But this is such a big month for us. Jesus, the Route 66 revival. Stretch out your hands. As I feel the prophetic word come for Route 66 revival. For God says, I will march before you along Route 66. I will march before you in this month of June. Wow. June is the sixth month in the Gregorian calendar and Route 66. Very interesting. <laughs> I will go and march before you, says God. Jesus, I see strongholds being shook and shaken up and breaking up. My goodness, great glory harvest is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. In this month of June, expect a double boom. A double boom. My goodness. If you received this word today, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and shout amen. I want you to share this on your wall. Tag somebody that needs to hear this. Let me tell you, this is the word of the Lord for this month. And you test me and you test these words. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus. Jarabha, we bind a strong man. In this region in Chicago, I bind the strong man here in Chicago. We, the church, have been given keys to bind and to loose and to loose and to bind. We bind the strong man now in this region of Chicago. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 
My goodness. Good to see you, Prophet Tadius. Good to see many friends here that are on the broadcast. Somebody say June is the month of double boom. Let me know if you received this word. I want you to comment below what specifically encouraged you, enlightened you, strengthened you, and what you specifically receive according to the word that was shared today. I want you to comment below, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I see a baptism of the Holy Ghost flooding America, flooding the streets, flooding the streets of Chicago. Shalom, a wave, a blanket of God's glory flooding this nation. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. The warfare is coming to an end. The waiting is coming to a finish. Hallelujah. And the trial is over. My goodness. Amen, Violetta. Yes. Remember, the word of God says, this is the first fruits. That's why the church is the first fruits. It was the first fruits of souls that came into the faith as Apostle Peter stood up and preached the gospel. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. And I want to encourage all of you. If you feel the stirring, the confirmation, join me and our ministry in, in fasting for the next 21 days. 21 days of prayer and fasting and consecration. As we push, focus, dial in to the second half of this year. It's going to be critical. Let me tell you, it's going to be big, people of God. The second half of this year. Can't play with it. Ain't nothing to mess with. There's going to be more shaking, more exposure. But also there's going to be more glory. Amen. More glory. Shatarabatarabata. Shatarabatarabata. The Wi-Fi here just went out, huh? I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. You took my sins and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the God that healeth thee. <laughs> you are the Lord. My healer, you took my sins and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Look at that. The Wi-Fi at the hotel just went out. I'm telling you, these technology demons in Chicago are strong. Yes, because I got a hot spot. <laughs> Glory, glory, glory. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I took your sins and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I just saw in the spirit a great harvest angel with a sickle in his hand. To soup and swipe across America. And a harvest of souls came in. My goodness. Jesus. Some of the glory. Glory harvest. In this month of June. Can I get an amen? 
Well, God bless you, friends. Thank you for watching today. I love all of you. I pray that you are blessed by this prophetic word. Make sure you give our page a like and a follow and subscribe as they do come on frequently, multiple times a week, spontaneously, releasing prophetic word, insight, teaching, revelation, impartation. And I want you to click the bell button on the bottom of this broadcast of the, of the screen to be notified whenever I come on live. We need your love, your prayers, your support. Let me tell you, God is connecting the remnants of the remnant in this hour for the great end times harvest and move. Amen. If you're blessed today, say amen. I'm going to be ministering in Chicago tomorrow, June 1st, 2nd, 3rd. And even Springfield, Illinois this weekend. And we're going to be going down Route 66. Chicago, Springfield, Illinois. St. Louis, Kansas City. Praise God. Tulsa, Oklahoma City. And all the way down. So if you're along Route 66, make sure you join us. Catch me outside. Join us. Get into glory. Jump in the river. And expect us June to be a month of double boom. Amen. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, live from Chicago. Love you. Thanks for joining, watching. And I pray that you receive this into your spirit and that it manifests according to the word of God. Amen. God bless you. Get ready for double boom, double loaves, double harvest. God bless.